My name is Wendy Sewell and I am Children's Diabetes Nurse Specialist and Team Leader here in Leeds. Today I'm going to show you how to give an injection of glucagon. You may need to give an injection of glucagon if your child or young person has a severe hypo. Um, they will be unable to eat or drink anything or they may even be unconscious. At this time, because it's an emergency, you may be a little bit scared and anxious, so I would suggest I'd advise you to call for an ambulance or get someone else to go and get help for you. So the glucagon kit, the glucogen kit, as it says on the side of the box, looks like this. It's in an orange box. It has an expiry date on the bottom that you can see. In order to open it, there's a seal and you need to either twist it like that or you can run your thumb along the seal and then you can open the box. Inside your box you have a vial with powder in and then we also have a syringe. This syringe is full of water. In your box too you have a leaflet that explains a little bit more about the medicine that you're going to give and to help you, to help remind you how to give the glucagon and how to mix it up there are some picture diagrams so look, just, just four little pictures to help show you and remind you how to give the injection so it's useful to put your vial, if you can, on a flat surface because if your hands are a little bit shaky and you're a bit anxious, it's a good idea to do, to do that so they don't drop. So just like on the television, there's a little cap and you flick that cap off. It won't go back on after you flicked it on. And there's a bung, a tiny bung, in the vial. To mix the medicine, to mix the glucagon, you take the syringe cap off. You then place the needle into the little vial through the, the bung on the top. And then you push the plunger so that the water mixes with the powder. The powder will dissolve straight away. You turn the syringe and the vial over, upside down, and then you can draw back the medicine, the glucagon, out of the vial. And you draw all of it back, okay? So, the needle is a little bit longer than you're used to with an insulin pen or a, a syringe needle and it needs to be that long because it has to go into the muscle. This medicine, that is one whole dose and one whole dose is for a child over the age of 12. Children under 12, we would give half of the dose and there's a mark on the side of the, the syringe to show you. So, let's pretend we're going to give it to a child over 12. Now, you want to give the glucagon injection into a large muscle. And the best places, the best places for a large muscle are either the buttocks, the large out, outer side, or I'm going to show you on your leg. So, it would be away from the hip, away from the knee, and this middle bit of the, of the leg here. So it will be into this big thigh muscle. So we'll pretend that this is my thigh muscle. So so that you can see what I'm doing, I'll put it on there. So the needle goes in at 90 degrees, so you hold it firm with a little bit of a push up. Put the needle in and then depress the plunger all the way down. Take the needle out Dispose of your syringe in a sharps box and then you put your child in the recovery position and wait for the ambulance and help to arrive. This medicine can make you feel a little bit sick 
Um, so it's probably a good idea to wait about 20 or 30 minutes before you offer a drink or something to eat. By this time the ambulance crew and help has arrived um, and your child should be recovering. So that's how you give an injection of glucagon. I hope you found it helpful and thank you for listening.